Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1020. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1017 to 1020, click on the link below the video. We have an amazing video here. This comes straight from a question at the Mr. Excel uh, message board. And here's the goal of this problem. We want to type a letter in this cell and be able to select. So if I select a B, we want our formula down here to look through find B002 and then generate B003, the next code in the sequence. B003. So that is the Excel goal of this video. But really, the goal of this video is to talk about what lens do you look through when you solve an Excel problem? Because sometimes, at least I know myself, I see a problem like this. And I immediately think, oh, there's the letter B. I'm going to look up the last B item. If I had A here, right, I'd have to look through. And you know, there's some other ones here. But I'd have to come all the way down here to the last A. So there's some formula elements that are good for looking up last. So I posted some solutions. And then Circle Chicken came in. and. He didn't see it as a lookup last. He saw this as a column filled with uh, codes that have exactly four digits long. Each digit has a leading letter, and then three digits that are numbers. So depending on how you look and think about a problem, that will influence your solution. Now, um, and not only will it influence your solution, but I know in my case, you know, I start thinking about a problem in a certain way, and I get stuck down that route. And then I can't see some of the other great uh, potential ways to solve a problem. So I approached it as a lookup last. And I did it this way. I used the search function. And I said search, search for the subtext string. This argument's expecting a single value. If I said this, it would find A, and it would report that it's the first character in this text string. But boom, I'm going to highlight the whole column, making this a function argument array operation. That means that search will spit out a bunch of answers. Every time it finds an A, in this case, since uh, the letter is always the first character, it will always report 1. F9, it returns an array of 1's and error values. So look up last. I'm going to use the lookup function. And when you do approximate match, which lookup only does approximate match, if you give a lookup value bigger than anything in the array, it'll always get the last one. So 2 is bigger than any of the ones there. What's also great about lookup is that it'll handle this array calculation without using Control-Shift-Enter. And you can give it the lookup vector and a separate result vector. This lookup vector will determine the position, comma, that it's going to uh, retrieve the item from this re result vector. Now that, just Enter, will find the last one, look up. And then what did I do? Well, I came down here and I said, oh, OK, we want the next one. I'm going to actually look at the right function. And I'm going to say, well, I want the right, how many? I want the right three of that. Now notice that that returns text. But no problem. What's our goal? To add to that 1. So I'm plus 1. Any math operation on a text number that's a text number that is a, a, an actual number, any math operation will convert it back to a number. 12. So there we have our 12. Ah, but we need it 0, 12. So we'll use the text function, text. Now there's the value. We come to the end. Comma, you got any no custom number formatting, but no problem. In double quotes, 0, 0, 0. That'll show any number with leading zeros. Close parentheses, and boom. So now we have our n number, 0, 1, 2. And I can simply join it with that. And boom. So now if I come over here and enter the b. Now, one downside of this lookup last, it is going to require that it's sorted. Meaning, if I had A12 right here, it's not sorted. If I come up here, it's actually always going to find the last one. So it'll, report, it'll find this one right here and add one. That's one problem with this formula. And another one is also if you select a letter that is not in our list. N A. All right, so check this out. Here is how 
uh, circle chicken sign. Um, let's look at left equals left. And we're going to highlight this whole column. Oh, I'm just interested in the first character, so I do comma 1. Now, this is a function argument array operation. That text army is expecting a single cell. We give it a bunch. So left will spit out all of the letters. F9, there we go. So now we can simply put that into a second array operation by asking the question, are any of you equal to whatever's in this cell? Right now, it'll only say true where there are A's. F9, Control Z. Now we can use all of those trues in an if function. The logical test is expecting a single value. We gave it a bunch of values. This formula will require Control Shift Enter. You know, there's some functions that can handle array calculations without Control sh Shift Enter, and some that can't. But one function that trumps them all, the logical test argument in the if, it doesn't matter where we house the if. If the logical test contains an array operation, the formula will require Control Shift Enter. No problem. We have trues and falses. Well, what do we want? Value of two. Well, we really only want the right three of all these. So I'm going to use the right of this whole column. That's a function argument array operation, comma 3. If I were to highlight and hit F9, you can see, boom, it gives me all of the last three digits of each code, Control Z. Now, let's close this off and check this out, F9. There we have it. The falses will filter out all of the values we are not interested in. If you leave that argument out, if automatically puts false in the resultant array. Well, what do we want? Those are all numbers as text. We really won't need to add one, so add one. Now, let's highlight this and hit F9. We got a bunch of numbers. And what are we interested? Notice this is not sorted. So the magic of what Circle Chicken did is he says, well, we want the biggest number. Use the max function, Control Z. So we simply say max. And if I enter this, I have to use Control Shift and Enter. When I use Control Shift Enter, that's me telling uh, Excel, I'm doing an array formula. Control Shift Enter. Those curly brackets up here are Excel saying, hey, I understood you made an array calculation. So it properly finds the 12 and adds 1. That 13 is the biggest. Now what do we need to do? Well, we certainly need to format it with the text, comma, double quote, 0, 0, 0, and then uh, Control-Shift-Enter. Now we have 0, 13. We only have one little bit left. We come over here and we concatenate, say, hey, A, ampersand, Control-Shift-Enter. Now let's test it. Let's come down here. I'm going to pick uh, this one right here. I'm going to type Z001. Z001. Oh, and I'm going to change this. I better change it to something like broop. I'm just going to try. OK, 001. How about a, a 09? That looks like it's working. A Z. Uh, 55. Looks like a word. How about a, a Z999? Sure enough, it's getting the next one. I'm going to control Z, Z, Z a bunch. Get that back to A12. Now, one other uh, cool thing about Circle Chicken's uh, formula that he posted uh, the left function, I put a 1, but guess what? The default, and you can always read about defaults. If you click on uh, this little screen tip, it'll take, tell, take you to help. And in here, it says specify somewhere down here. If num characters is omitted, it is assumed to be 1. Now, I didn't know that. That is a really cool trick. So you, we can actually backspace out, shorten it just a little bit, and then Control, Shift, Enter. All right. Um, your glasses, when you wear them, uh, you always want to be trying to step back far enough so you're not stuck in any one set of uh, glasses. But you know what? Really, the truth is our online Excel team, whether at the Mr. Excel message board at YouTube or the other hundreds of places that we hang out, it's so amazing because we all have a different set of eyes looking at a problem. And together, we can see all sorts of amazing solutions. All right, thanks to Circle Chicken. We'll see you next video.